Dude, your shit fucking stinks. Why does it have to stink so much? What the fuck have you been eating? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Well, I suggest you don't go back to that Taco Bell no more. And we're back with Barry. Barry. Skullcock. Yeah, we save... We save... We save Barry. Barry Skullcock. From the heavy metal. <laughs> from the heavy metal. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, it's all thanks to you that I got back to normal. Yay. He's back to normal. Apparently when you save him from the heavy metal, he yeah. loses his Indian war paint. Yeah. That's, uh... And his mascara. Did he have a bandana before? Yes, he did. However... Oh. Well, no, actually, when he had the war paint on, he did not have the bandana. That's what I thought. So apparently you lose the war paint, the mascara, you gain a bandana, but you don't change your clothes back. And you lose a guitar. I would like to point out how dangerous it would be to get confused in this outfit. Because if you were to get confused and just shrug it off, you'd die. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because it's not a prop. <laughs> Shoulder pad. Oh, hell no. No, no. He's real metal. No, he's Japanese metal. Same thing. <laughs> no. Yay! No, that's not like a... We don't like this hotel, so we're throwing this TV out the window. Met kind of metal. Yeah. Oh, no, he's still alive! <laughs> His name's Drog? Drog. Do you know a guy named Drog? Again, didn't play Fire Emblem. Uh, no. And he used to fight by my side as my partner? What? Yeah, he was a pop battle. Well, I remember them saying he used to be a... Oh, yes. Drog. Drog, yeah! Because we totally didn't have anything mess up and edit it out right there. Yeah! Dude, his name's Drog. Trust me, uh, if you ever see anyone dealing in drogs in the back alley, then you need to, you need to step away. You need to call in a pop bottle because there might be a mirage around. <laughs> That's right. Or you need to quit <laughs> huffing the paint. <laughs> one of the two. One of the two, right? No. <laughs> uh, please, would you save him? He used to be my partner, and we used to do some heavy metal together. That's a... Uh, Oh, I was going to say, that's a drug reference, but whatever. We'll go with that. Why would why would she save him? That's not right. <gasps> oh, my boobies. glowing. Performa. Of course it is. Performa, yeah, because that's what we call glowing souls now. Oh, if you lend me your strength, we'll be able to save him. Let me just... Wow. Oh my god! <laughs> you sure you're okay with this? Uh, alright. Did you see that? He just stabbed his own wrists. <laughs> uh, if she's loaded with this much performa, she'll be drugged out for quite a while. I mean, dragged into this fight, whether she likes it or not, sure. Now we're gonna get some drugs. And one sticking by her, yep. That'll be enough for me to rest easy. Sure. Uh, memory. Uh, let me ask you one more time. Will you be Drog's master? Would you like to take Drog's into you? And get really, really stoned? It's a euphemism for drugs, in case no one's catching that. <laughs> uh... Sure, I'll do it. Just to save Uncle Barry. So wait, you're trying to drug the youth? <laughs> uh, I want to be able to fight alongside everyone and protect them. Well, okay, keep it. holding my hands like this. It's really weird. Drog's a decent guy. Sure. I'm sure you're going to get along just fine. Oh, I slapped that skull <laughs> into my nuts. 
And, she, <laughs> and like she's not questioning the fact that you know she's got this shiny glowing orb sticking out of her chest that's just shooting rainbow beams out of it. No, she's not. She's now watch. Like, oh, watch, 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 watch. Whatever this is, it's a normal thing. He's gonna reach out to her tiny little kid tits. Grab the glowing light and then resang on the dude in the face. Watch. <laughs> what the fuck? Watch. Oh. And then. Yeah, she's here, just like. Here goes. She's just like every, every. I just ripped her. Technically, by all accounts, I just ripped her soul out. Yeah. And now I'm gonna turn around. And, and then, attempt to put it into this dude. And then Rasenga on this dude in the chest with it. There we go. And now he explodes. Right, like your character acts like he was taught to do this. No. When he first met his his uh partner, uh Krom, he just did it. That's what I that's what I mean. Like, your character was totally trained to do this. This is not fair. When all of my other characters joined my team, they all changed their look dramatically. This guy just went from purple to blue. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, here's her outfit. Check it out. Oh. What? She's a shinobi from the Leaf Village. <laughs> well, she's got quite the outfit. Why the bunny ears, I wonder? What have I been doing? Why are there two faces on the... <laughs> They're bunnies. <laughs> They're bunnies! What's with the bunny motif? He was obvious... He did not look like a bunny. Why is? Why does the stab, the handle, have a smiley face? It's the happiest one out of all the faces I've seen so far <laughs> right? on this thing. It's like, yay! Nothing's gonna happen to me! The other ones are like, oh, we's gonna be hitting some shit, aren't we? Uh, looks like you're all good now. He doesn't even question it. Obviously, this is exactly what he looked like when he transformed <laughs> as well. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I ain't your master no more. What? Uh, drugs. Uh, you now have to look after memory now. Yay. And he's like, whoa. What? Things just happen. And she finally is like, what's going on? <laughs> right? See, look. He just changed. He went from purple to he blue. He went from being a good guy, I mean a bad guy, to a good guy. Without it's, changing his look. Yeah, it's not like he went from being a bad ghost to part of your soul. Krom, no, Krom, the way he looks now, when you first met him, and when you hit him with the Rasengan, it was Krom's face... But he's wearing like the red hoodie, like all the enemies on the map wear, <laughs> right? And that was the same for Sita. But this guy's just like he literally well, went from just it's just uh, a from, recolor from yeah from purple to blue. It's not even that much of a recolor. Mamori. Yeah. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Mamori. Yay! There's a lot I don't know, and I'm still a child, but I'm pleased to meet you. It matters not. It's my honor to make your acquaintance. My little master. Sure. Well, this guy's a pedo. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll I'll be there to help. Why not? We'll talk to this guy. Uh, alongside Mr. Drugs. I mean Drog. Drog. Not drugs. We're not doing any more drugs. Everyone's done enough drugs already. I like how he's still in his metal costume. <laughs> I'm mired in a haze. I can scarce imagine how I was in such a state. Yay. Uh, about when the bad guys screwed around with your head. Sure. Drogs back to his old self. I keep slapping this skull on my penis. I must like it. I just want to know, like, how did other people get mirages before your character started fucking put giving people mirages? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe they did the same thing I did. And that was just a forgotten art? <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, if you ever want new recruits, do this. 
20 no, years no, no, later, no, no, everyone... No, 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 no. I think it was just sort of a thing that pops into people's head when they see this glowing soul thing in front of them. <laughs> Let me put I think it their first... this non-glowing thing. It's a Japanese thing. The first thing you do is you grab that bitch and you Rasengan it into someone's face. <laughs> That's the first thing you do. Don't question how did That's I right. just pull this off of someone's chest. It was just shining. What might be the occasion? Uh, we're supporting memory. Oh. I get the feeling that isn't the whole truth. No, it's the truth. Did you just see me come out of this white glowing pillar? <laughs> Fool me that easily. I think we both know what's going on. Really? What? Empty handed? Oh. That's not why you're here? Uh, I was just here for a meeting, sure. Okay. Something to do with the incident before? Sure. Yay, it's not your job. You're just some dude. I honestly don't even know who he is. He's just some guy with no chest hair. As far as I know. Mr. V. Okay. Uh, I can always blame people for wanting to know the truth. That's that's something you do that you can be blamed for. <laughs> Stop wanting to know! <laughs> Stop it! Right? Sure, out of concern. For your red scarf. I really like your scarf. I don't want it to get harmed. In your earring. His earring? You want the earring? Something did... Perhaps you all might be able to use this information? Sure, what? Daiba TV just had a huge corporate reorganization recently. They even appointed a new president? Sure. But this new fellow, Mahiro Surumi. Sure. You know what? With you giving me clues like this, I'm starting to think you're the bad guy. No, he's Yoda. Oh, he's the boat from Wind Waker. Uh, they knew anything about Mahiro. None of them have heard a thing. See, he's giving me someone else to look into. I think he's the bad guy. That's a basic thing they do in stories, right? <laughs> I mean, hell, uh... That's a thing, right? Yeah, in, in, in several stories, the butler did it. Butler's usually the most helpful character in a mystery novel. But most of the time, the butler does it. Right. Uh, it's good for us in the business to know who's running these stations. That's good to know, yeah. Until next time, thanks. I am an entertainer. Huh. Uh, Horinozawa. Sure. Anything to do with the mirages? Uh, who knows? No. No. Anyway, so we got uh we, we got memory on our team. Doesn't that make you happy? What's here in the topics? <laughs> uh memory has three new skills to learn. Jesus fucking Christ. Of course she does. She's a new character. Yeah, of course she does. I'm not gonna talk to all these people. I don't want to. I don't know where to go. I need to go to Fortuna. I need to go back to the office. This is probably where I end the chapter. That's exactly Fortuna. what my... Fortuna! That is exactly my goal for this episode. End the chapter. That is the goal at all. Hope so. Yeah. You have to sit down and rest. You're still recovering. What did he do? He played the guitar really hard. That's all he did. Sure, sit down. I'm just glad you're alright. Why not? That and maybe you should like go and get some hand couches, like... You really work them finger muscles. <laughs> uh, it's downright stupid just run in there by yourself, not even a master. Oh, I thought I could do something with my awesome guitar! Uh, all I could think about was saving memories. <laughs> I mean, memory. Yep, very, very sorry. 
She said like two lines and moved her feet a little bit. She didn't sing. Keep working hard. I don't want her to leave me in the dust. Hello, miniskirt. That's enough serenades. Almost about to start. Sure. Cool. All of you sit down, shut up, and even think about blinking. Sure. All right. I won't do that. The broadcast had to be canceled. I'm glad they still called you back for the regular show. Uh, great time singing. Yay! All right, Mom. Yeah. What are we going to do next, lady? Come on. Heard nothing but good things. Cool. Yay! She's still on her cooking show. She microwaves shit. Oh my god, it's starting! Is this another song? Do I get to see another performance? <laughs> this time it's just two words. Oh my god. <laughs> and then it ends. Oh, and then shoot me in the fucking foot. Uh, okay. Where were those skyscrapers? Okay, every other performance in this game so far has been 2D anime style, but this one is obviously 3D rendered. Why? You say this, even though it's only 3D rendered for the character, what she's walking on in the trees. Everything else is 2D. <laughs> well, that just makes sense. But this doesn't. This does not make sense. I don't I don't understand the choices they've made here. It's a good song though. Meh. United the J-pop. Don't know why they didn't put more of a song during the boss fight. Hmm. That's a good point. Or had given her an ad lib, an ad lib performance during the boss fight that didn't do anything. Just like, oh hey, she continues to sing when you're fighting. That would have been an inter interesting mechanic. Along with all the other interesting mechanics this game has in its battle system. No, I'm... Yay! I'm saying to further the story that she started singing to help him, and then during the fight, she continues singing. To infer that it's not just that little snippet, but she continues doing it in the background while all of your characters are doing this. Right, okay, That's so, so add, add more to it, make the battle f feel less connected. I mean, less disconnected. Yeah. Make That's the word feel, I'm looking for. Make it feel like during the battle there is a story going on outside that you can Sure, and, and so like the battle isn't just on this stage and feels disconnected from the rest of the game. It actually yeah. feels like it's connected to the scene that just happened. Yeah. That, okay. I get that. That makes sense. Not just a random attack that does nothing. No, 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 no. <laughs> right. I, mean, I you get you. You already have this system. Might as well take advantage of it for story content. For story right. purposes. That makes sense. Okay. So, uh, hey, guys, that's it for this chapter. It looks like that's it for this uh, episode. We're going to cut it here. Next time, we're going to try and look deeper into this game. Try to analyze it and deconstruct it and maybe, maybe, just maybe, de-censor it. Who knows? That'd be difficult. That would be. But till next time! Yeah! Till next time! Don't fart in your cereal. Bye, guys. What's up with you and these stupid tips? I don't know. I felt like oh, yeah, it. Oh, yeah, don't shit in your hand and try and snort it. What the fuck?